here at the Breslin Center alongside Jacob Herbert. I'm Ryan Cole. Michigan State comes out with the win today, 88 to 63 against Southern Utah. The Thunderbirds, great mascot, great mascot, but uh, they were not that great against Michigan State. Down the stretch, Michigan State closed out the game on a 25 to 7 run after Southern Utah got this one to a five point game in the second half really was interesting how they just kept hitting threes and even threes that were well defended by Michigan State today. Yeah, as I mentioned uh, on, my, on my Twitter, people can follow me at Jacob Herbert. Uh, I tweeted out that Southern Utah was channeling their inner Bon Jovi and kind of living on a prayer with these threes. They hit 11 total in the game um, and a lot of them, I don't know the exact number, but a lot of them they just kind of threw up and just so happened that they went in. But uh, I think when you look at that, you can credit Michigan State's defense. Michigan State did a really good job of not letting Southern Utah drive the lane and they kind of had to live or die by the three. Um, but yes, once I said, like I said, credit Michigan State's defense. And once again, Michigan State held an opponent to under 30% from two-point range. That's something they've been doing a phenomenal job of this season, and it continued today against Southern Utah. Another thing that continued today was Cassius Winston's unconscious three-point <laughs> shooting. Five of six from the field. He's shooting 61% on the season so far, which is far and away on pace for a school record. This previous school record is just about 51% and that was set by Kirk Manns. Yes, I did my research uh, back in the late 80s. So Cassius Winston's threes, once again, a big factor today. Yeah, and that really is something that kind of started with him uh, back in the North Carolina game. It seemed like, much like today in that game, he just couldn't miss, and you saw the exact same thing tonight. So good for Michigan State to kind of get that. And it's not just Cassius, a lot of guys were hitting threes in this game tonight, so uh, very good production from them. Nick Ward, a big bounce back game as well. Uh, after that Rutgers game where he was benched maybe, and uh, Tom Izzo obviously uh, drew a little bit of ire from some Spartan fans this week, and you know we heard it today. He was kind of calling out the media for making this a big issue between Izzo and Ward. Uh, they said that it was resolved, and uh, Nick Ward anyways bounced back and had a big day today. 17 points for him, really only struggled from the free throw line. That was the only uh, really the downside for him. And uh, he also showed a little bit of range today. <laughs> he did, uh, and, and Tom Izzo joked after the game that he thought Nick Ward handled the, the Rutgers situation so well, he kind of drew up that play for, for Nick to hit that three. And I don't know how much we'll see uh, Nick Ward do that again Probably for the rest not of the much. season, but no. um, he... It was a deep three, too. Yeah, it was. It wasn't, it wasn't right on the line. He hit a very uh, deep three, but, but credit Nick uh, for the way he handled that situation. Talking to a lot of the players after the game, especially Miles Bridges, he made sure to comment on, you know, that, that just shows how great of a player Nick Ward is. A lot of players might let that get to them and, and, and it might transition into the next game. That wasn't the case for Nick tonight. Like you mentioned, 17 points, only five in the first half, so we really had a dominant second half. And uh, as Izzo and everyone had said, he really handled it well. And then a couple other young guys from Michigan State who played really well today. Jaron Jackson, Miles Bridges, both had double doubles, uh, 17 points for each of them. Jaron Jackson had 13 rebounds, Miles Bridges 11 rebounds and 6 assists, so he was actually sharing the rock pretty well today. Yeah, Miles Bridges just a few assists away from the triple-double, and uh, you know, after the game, Tom Izzo mentioned that you know, Miles Bridges is finally starting to, to play as well as he can as a player, and if, if 17 points is just the beginning of, of how good Miles Bridges can be, a lot of teams need to watch out as Michigan State uh, continues their schedule here. And also, Jaron Jackson was a monster on the glass, 13 rebounds as you mentioned, uh, 11 and 12 from the free throw line, so getting it done. Uh, in more ways than one tonight. So both of those guys, really, really impressive performances. Yeah, and I think the next step for Michigan State is how do they handle every other team's best shot? And uh, Southern Utah came out, gave them a pretty good shot today, and Michigan State going to get some more shots in the future because they might be the number one team in the country this coming week. Uh, number one, Duke, lost earlier today. Earlier this week, number two, Kansas, dropped a game. And uh, we might see Michigan State move up to that number one ranking. Villanova may jump them for number one, but Michigan State will definitely be in the top two this coming week. So, uh, Michigan State, I mean, do you think that they're going to get a number one ranking this week? It's certainly possible. You mentioned Villanova obviously having the big win earlier this week over Gonzaga. But Michigan State has a few arguments of their own. They also knocked off Notre Dame and uh, North Carolina the first time Tom Izzo has ever done so. Um, so, there are two huge top ten victories for that team. So, both teams really do have a case for that number one spot, but I think you know, you, I think Michigan State will get it only because of those two impressive wins over North, Notre Dame and North Carolina. Yeah, well said. And obviously, this 88-63 to 63 win over Southern Utah, not necessarily going to be uh, one that pads Michigan State's resume, but uh, they got it done and they got the win. And uh, that's all that matters when you're a team like Michigan State. So 9-1 and one on the season are the Spartans, and they have the week off for finals. And uh, we're going to take the week off for finals as well. And 
Uh, obviously, the players will be thinking about it, and we'll be thinking about it too. So, But they are looking ahead a little bit to that Oakland game down in Detroit. Uh, little Caesars Arena will be the host of uh, two big basketball games. Michigan will play U of D Mercy, and uh, as we said, Michigan State takes on Oakland. So uh, I will be there along with Impact Sports' Kyle Turk uh, covering that from downtown Detroit. And uh, So for Jacob Herbert, I'm Ryan Cole. Again, Michigan State 88, Southern Utah 63 today at the Breslin Center. We're here for Impact Sports. Thanks for watching.